Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and I apparently screwed up Marindel's stats, but oh well, we'll fix that later. Marindel uh, is a new recruit, and he comes to the Space Center with a ship, actually with several ships, <laughs> and he wants to fly the first one, and he wants to fly it to Moho, and we're going to be doing that today. Actually, we're going to be doing it in, uh, I guess I can't bring up the alarm clock, but it's going to be quite a ways from now. We also got another new recruit who's not at the end of the list. He took over that no name in the middle. Uh, where is your name? Mav, I believe. Other than, oh wait, or my rule. I don't remember. Somebody starts with their name, starts with a name. Anyway, <laughs> but you're both there. And, uh, Marindel, though, as I said, is, is because he submitted a ship. I actually submitted a while ago and I forgot to add his name. Oops, sorry. But uh, we're going to send him off to Moho today, and we might let's let's check out the uh, let's check out the actual alarm clock here. Um, we've also got after that a jewel window, so we might be sending up um, one of the ships that I could get to jewel. So we might be sending that ship off, and then we've got two ships to send to Duna, which is going to be exciting. So we might actually do both of these today because what we're going to do here is uh, we're we're going to launch when the windows come up, and we're not going to. Um, we're not going to finish that mission like we did in Kerpala. We're going to do more of a concurrent missions, which is what the alarm clock is so awesome at. And we're going to check out the new ships that we've got here. We've got the Marindels. We've seen these. We've seen the Night Owl. We've seen Slam Chess. Uh, this is the new one. This is the dedicated science probe. This might end up going to Jewel. I don't know yet. This is the first time I've seen it. Uh, looks pretty capable. It's just a probe. You notice all it has on it is if I can zoom in here all it has on it is a couple thermometers to take readings um, and a, a probe core and it's also got solar panels which is critically important on a probe obviously but then I'm also just gonna show you his number seven he, see, he sent me three five six and seven actually four five six seven and eight so let's load the eight up and he says this is the exact same probe, it's just got more science on it. And as every t each tech level goes up, we're going to get that science. So basically, whatever tech level I'm at when it comes time to launch this ship, I'm going to launch this ship with whatever tech node he gave me. So, And it's another one of these that's up in the air <laughs> with lots of solid boosters and all of this stuff. Now, it has solar panels, which makes me happy. It also is kind of crazy here. Wow, there is a lot going on on this guy. Please tell me you told me what you're what you're doing. Okay, sweet. Uh, leave pod attached to docking node in orbit. This is the return booster. Okay, so oh, this is to get this is to get us home. I see. Leave this in orbit and then come back up redock and then bring this all back. Not sure what these separatrons are for. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, let's go ahead and get me out of the pod. Let's get Marindel in the pod. He has no courage and, and maximum stupidity, so I obviously got to fix that. I'm not sure why it says that. But you'll you'll have more courage next time we, we start, I promise. And let's go ahead and launch. Pretty solid on the pad. Looks pretty good. Uh, there's some weird green stuff on the launch clamps. Oh, are they? They are reflecting the sky. That is crazy. Um, I am gonna wait until morning because I would kind of like to watch this thing go. So let's uh, let's watch for the sunrise here. We got plenty of time. We got sixty-seven Kerbin days before. Uh... There we go. Before our Moho window. So you're gonna you're gonna be spending two Kerbin months up in the. Uh... <laughs> up in orbit. I hope you don't mind. But in three, two, one, Marindel is going to launch. And yes. Let's go ahead. We're not going to do a material study. We can do a temperature scan. And we may as well. Because he can always hop out there and grab it. I should also turn on my computer here. We're not playing with the real solar system. Or not, sorry, not the real solar system. We're not playing with deadly reentry uh, and, and Ferrum Aerospace. Our atmospheric efficiency is already too high, so I'm going to throttle that down. Oh, and today's mod is the alternate resource panel, which is one of my favorite mods. I love that better than the than the other resource panel. <laughs> 
throttling way down. This is kind of crazy, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, I'm not going to do this material study. I don't care how much you flash at me, little uh, science thing. Looking pretty good, though. About to lose the solids in a couple seconds. Throttling down even farther. But when the solids get to about... I don't know. Let's say a thousand. I'm going to throttle all the way up. Okay, we're going to throttle all the way up. Perfect. Okay, let's start circularizing. Doing fine. I'm liking your ship so far. You got the beef. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> I likes me the Separatrons. I never use them myself, but they're fun to watch. Uh, we're almost to 30, so let's get it right about here. Okay. Uh, we got lots of we got lots of beef in this stage here. Now he said I he said I I, I should circularize at 85 with about 100 delta V left in the tank. So. If you guys know anything about me, you'll know that I took that as a challenge. <laughs> okay, we're almost at 40, so I'm going to bring this thing down to 20. Okay, our apoapsis is at 60, so we are about to hit it. As soon as it gets up to, say, 85, I am going hit to the, hit the brakes here. I'm looking up here at Kerbal Engineer. 82, 83, 45, 86. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to lose some of that, but not too much of it. We're pretty high up in the atmosphere. Okay, we are coming down here. We've got six seconds, or six seconds of a burn to circularize. Um, it's a 250 meter per second burn, and we've got uh, 928 left in the tank. So, now we can tell what this thing's going to look like here. There we go. 85 by 78. Let's get it at 85. Whoops. 90 by 84. That's perfect. Okay, so... Yeah, we probably got about 100, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm going to leave these things attached for a minute. I'm going to do my uh, patented, um, figure out how to get to Moho uh, procedure here when I do my when I do my burn. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test certain things to see how they work. Okay, the boys on the ground have decided that instead of waiting for the window, we are going to burn now. Well, not now, but very soon. <laughs> and then on our... Periapsis here, which is actually close to, which is on its ascending or descending node, Moho's, which is also close to Moho's periapsis. I believe that is the correct time to do this. Um, we're going to do another burn to slow us down a bit, about halfway down in the orbit, which is going to get us a Moho encounter. Um, all told, this is about three grand of Delta V, which I think is a pretty good bargain to do this. And then when we're at Moho, if we look at this, uh, focus view on Moho. Um, this is a, a fairly poor encounter, but this isn't the encounter we're going to have. But if we do a maneuver here... I love the craziness of these things here. If we do a maneuver here to get our circularization, this third maneuver node is going to cost 2815. So, and it's probably going to be less because we're going to be closer. Actually, or is it more? I, I honestly don't remember. But uh, we're going to we're going to get a nice tight encounter. But that's a, that's less than six grand, and this thing should uh, have about ten grand left in it. It says, yeah, ninety eight something. And actually, yeah, we have forty five meters per second left. So, so I didn't live up to my challenge. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I think we're gonna we're going to use this forty five meters per second. We are going to uh, loop ourselves around here. We're going to take advantage of all the fuel we have. And we said it's an eight-minute burn, which means one minute before our alarm, we have to start burning. <laughs> this thing doesn't turn that well. I haven't really unlocked a lot of the goodies. So we're going to start this up, and as soon as these things drop... <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, it's actually an 11-minute burn. Uh, that's less than ideal, but I think we're, we're still a go. <laughs> we're actually very close to the atmosphere. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Still just material study. Yeah, I'm glad we were at 85. That would have That would have been a really close scrape here. And then once we get down to about, say... Now, let's actually look at it now. We don't actually care about node 3, and we don't really care about node 2 anymore. It's all about node 1. And it's all about getting this really close to this.
And what the H just happened? Is it seriously telling me? I yeah, the interaction with uh, the interaction with precise note I think caused that thing to reset to what it was before. So I am I'm just gonna burn prograde now. <laughs> I don't really have a choice. We'll see what happens when we go here. Okay, we're getting really close. We should have an encounter any second now. I'm actually going to... Oh boy, this is not looking good for me. <laughs> I guess we're leaving that in interplanetary space. I, I hope I'm doing things right. Okay, there's our encounter. But yeah, okay, we've got a total of seven grand still, so I think we're still doing fine. I'm a little bit scared because that, that orange tank was supposed to crash into Moho, I thought, or maybe this is supposed to crash into Moho and I'm just wrong. <laughs> it is all possible. Everything is possible in my world here. So, let's get ourselves aimed at our S maneuver node. We're leaving... Uh, Carbon sphere of influence in a day. We do, though, have a jewel window coming up, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, Marindel's Moho has launched. This is a Duna Ike combo. This is a Duna ship. This is a go anywhere ship. Dedicated science probe could probably go anywhere. Um, auto save ship, we don't need that. And then uh, the rest of these are kind of destined for jewel, or like some of them can go to jewel probably. But they cannot uh, do anything once there. <laughs> so I think we are going to... We're going to look at Slam Chess Space Explorer. Which, let's see. Yes, it has a cockpit. It's got... Uh, I, can, I can slap a thermometer on here. And I think I'm going to... Let's go ahead and science. Science up a thermometer. Just... Let's see. Actually, no. You get out on this side, don't you? Put the thermometer right there. I think that's fair. Uh, 83.53. Can he actually get to Jewel? I don't think so. This is like a this is like a Minmus sort of thing. No no explanation. Although he probably sent it in his email. We will have three grand, maybe thirty five hundred to go anywhere we want. Um, I mean, we could get like a flyby on Jewel. But I honestly don't think a flyby is what I'm looking for right now. I think instead we are going to send you to Minmus. And we're going to try to land you on a couple biomes. And get these, get these, and we're, we're going to try to up our science. I think that's a good thing. We're going to launch that, and then we're going to, we're going to finish that mission off, because it's going to be a twofer. Uh, we'll finish that off next episode. So let's go ahead and Slam Chest gets to fly this. HM, get out of that seat. Let's see, Trunk, where are you? Slam Chest Kerman, there you are. Oh, that's Sam Kerman. Slam Chest! Okay, we are going to take... Can we seriously get a surface sample from here? No, we can't. Let's take our temperature scan from here and keep it, and we'll collect that once we're in orbit. <laughs> Slam chest is ready to go. It is early morning, uh, mid morning, almost afternoon. Uh, so we we're gonna turn on the computer. Does this thing have solar panels on it? Uh, looks like that's a no. Not a big deal. And in three, two, one, launch. Nice and straight. Let's turn off the HUD because we don't need it at the moment. Uh, our atmospheric efficiency is skyrocketing. Nice. Okay. I did a lot better this time than the other one. That might be where my where my extra... Oh, do I have... Apparently he did put a thermometer on here. Let's go ahead and keep that data, too. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that I sent... Uh, I sent... Um, oops, I'm screwing up my... I sent Marindel, is that your name? Uh, I sent him to Moho with temperature data from, like, Kerman's atmosphere. And by the time you get back, I'll probably have collected that from somebody else. Not a big deal, but kind of amusing. Okay, we're getting low on the solid fuel. 
when this gets down to say say 250 I'm gonna crank up the, the thruster here and woohoo <laughs> I love that okay what do we have oh we're at 11 we should probably be turning this thing over I am not being very efficient because I'm watching I'm watching the, the craft you guys are building me awesome craft and it's really hard to remember what I'm supposed to do, which is which is get these things into orbit. Slam chest, your ship is seems to be going fairly well here. Goodbye. Okay, I thrust away to still pretty good actually, so we're looking good. Uh, now it's just wait for our apoapsis to get up to say 85. Okay, I found uh, found out some things about this ship. First of all, it does have solar panels. I have no eyeballs, apparently. Uh, it also has four temperatures and a commutatron, which I never use these commutatrons, although I can do it now because I have, uh, I have uh, what do you call it, uh, power generation capabilities, which is always nice. But anyway, like I said, I'm not, I'm not on my way to Moho yet, so I'm not going to keep you here. Just doing a quick circularization burn here, but I, fi I figured I would show you where all those thermometers were <laughs> that he so graciously put on the ship for me. And very likely told me about, but I just didn't remember. It's not that I don't read what you say, what you tell me, it's that I don't remember what I've read. 82 by 84, that's a pretty nice orbit there. Okay, so we got, uh, we got a moho, or moho, I keep saying moho. We got to go to Minmus. Um, I'm going to set that all up, and uh, I mean, you've seen me go to Minmus multiple times. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to set that up. We're going to we're going to abandon the, uh, the 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 episode here. We're going to stop the episode. We got two ships in orbit. One's going to Moho. One's going to Minmus. The double M missions, and uh, things are looking good. So I will um, when we come back next time. I will uh, very likely get all, the entire Minmus run done and also get Marindel out into extrasolar space, which is going to be fun. Or extrasolar? Extra curve in space. <laughs> solar, actually, solar space. So uh, we will uh, we'll see how that works, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.